Hello all, I am Meghna Deshpande, Assistant Professor from PAS Modern College of Engineering. Today we are going to start with Entrepreneurship Development. It's a fifth unit of Business Management. We are going to cover few concepts from this unit. We are going to start with the concept of Entrepreneurship. Then we are going to switch over on identification of business opportunities and how to generate a business idea. Entrepreneur. Who is an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is a basically a French word which means a person who organizes, takes the risk and forms the enterprise. He is an entrepreneur. So, entrepreneur is basically a French word the person who takes the risk, who organizes something, who manages the risk, is called as entrepreneur. It's a process of starting something new. It's a process of identifying and starting a new business venture. Sourcing and organizing the required sources according to that. So when we are talking about entrepreneurship, we should know what the skill entrepreneur should possess of. So can you list out some skills? What kind of skill the entrepreneur should possess? Let's start with the various skills the entrepreneur should have a vision so when we are talking about vision vision is an end term goal when you are going to start something you have to decide that end term goal for which we are going to work so what is the vision it's an end term goal we have to set an end term goal if you are starting with any enterprise the entrepreneur should possess the this skill to formation of vision Vision is what? It's a long term goal. We have to set before starting off anything. It's a dreaming and visualizing the ways and means to achieve a market demands, socio economics and technological environments. Without the vision, you can't do anything. For example, the Dhirubhai Ambani has set some vision. And now Anil Ambani has implemented the, that vision in the form of Reliance Communication. The entrepreneur should have knowledge. The concept, knowledge and technical ability of the entrepreneur should be strong. He should have strong desire to succeed. It should have independence. It should not go with the rule of thumb. Optimism. He should be highly optimistic about their achieving vision. He should have a value addition. He should have a creativity. He should have innovativeness. He should have a leadership qualities. The qualities of leaders are what? They are a good planner, good organizer, the leaders should have a good communication skills. They are having a empathetic approach towards the employees. They are having good decisions makers. They are initiative to implement plans. They should be result oriented. And Obviously, one skill they should possess the hard working. Desire to control over their own fate. They should have a risk taking ability. Along with these all skills, they should have a personal development skill also. A goal setting, time management and team building. These skills the entrepreneur should, should possess. The major aspects of entrepreneurship, the identification of different market opportunities 
and the generation of business idea once we have decided we are going to start with the startup but we should have a strong idea we should we can with that idea we should stand in a market we should identify a market opportunity for that what we can do this is the basic thing that is the major aspect of entrepreneurship identification of business opportunity and generation of business idea so major aspects the gathering and commitment of resources in the face of risk to pursue the opportunity so what are the sources through which you can gather this information that is the thing major again major aspects of the creation of operating business organization to implement the opportunity once you have decided to go with start of business first you have to find out you have to identify market opportunity and the gender and you have to generate a business idea next step is you have to gather for that you have to gather information and you have to commit the resources then you have to convert that idea into operating organization to motivate the business idea so this is the process of identifying the business how we can identify the opportunity first you have to decide you are going by yourself or you are the owner decide to go into a business of own self assess your potential by doing this sort analysis you can assess your potential then find an appropriate product or service idea so in that case you have to decide you are buying any business you are going for starting any new business or you are acquiring the franchise then go for conducting a feasibility study so what is this feasibility study you have to go with the technical feasibility market acceptability and financial viability what is the technical feasibility when you are going for conducting a feasibility study of any particular idea you have to find out that is technically feasible if i am going to start this venture in a current year where i am after 5 years i have to visualize that is the technical feasibility and market should accept whatever i have decided so according to the market demand i have decided the idea or not i have to decide the market acceptability also i have to consider the factors of financial viability uh, the financial violation should not be there i should manage all these resources with a given limits so this is the feasibility study we should all go with any startup then organize your business structure and legal requirements then we have to protect our idea then go, we are going for arranging financing and then we are going for detail business plan so this is the process of identifying the business once we have identified fis business we have to generate a business idea so how we are generating this business idea yes there is a standard procedure for generating this business idea search for product or service idea how we are searching there are many resources through which we can generate this idea from your previous employment from your hobbies from your casual observation from a deliberate search so the casual observation you can do by taking a walk into the market the deliberate search you can search out through the magazine newspaper and publication tv shows trade shows product licensing information government agencies and department you can use your creating creative thinking and evaluate possible alternatives and determine your preferences 
so this is the this is the process of generation of business idea before this can you list out what is the uh, characteristics of ideal business yes how to select the right opportunity identify your business and personal goals research your favorite industry identify the promising research industry segments identify problem areas and brainstorm those solution compare possible solution from your objectives and opportunities in the marketplace focus on most promising opportunity as i have told you can you list out some characteristics of ideal business yes think uh, uh, for a while about this we can characterize ideal business which requires no investment it should have a recognized and measurable market a perceived need for a product or service a dependable source of supply for required inputs it should not require any labor force provide 100% gross margin buyers purchase purchase it frequently it means repeat customer should be there it receives a favorable tax treatment it has a receptive established distribution system has a great publicity value customers pay in advance no risk of product liability no technical oldness is there no physical reliability flexible to weather conditions possess some proprietary rights so with that with this all we some we have some market issues what product or services are you selling to whom do you sell does someone represent you or distribute your product or services how do you promote your sales how do you price your output what do customer expect so we can have knowledge of all these things now what we have discussed up till now the concept of entrepreneurship how to generate a business idea and how to identify the business opportunity so based on all this material you have to solve one quiz so i am sharing that quiz with this video you have to give the feedback based on quiz after solving the quiz okay hope you understand all these things this can be beneficial for starting before going to start up what you can do this is a beneficial very beneficial for all these things so think for a while and solve a quiz go for repetitive revisions of this video and go for solving a quiz hope you understand everything thank you students thanks once again have a good day